You wanna know more about me? About this girl? Hi guys! I have recently picked up some new subscribers and if you're anything like me, I like to know a little bit more about the people who I'm watching their YouTube videos, a little bit more about them. So I decided to do the 50 facts about me. Now I'm not good at counting, so we're gonna see how close I actually get to 50 facts about me. I am originally from Oregon, uh, just outside of Portland, and uh, because I live in the South now, I do get quite homesick, and when I get homesick, I love to watch Portlandia, in part because the characters are my people, but also because um, the area has snapshots of home, and I'm just like, oh, oh, oh that's home. Uh, where I did grow up, we had what was almost like a uh, family farm, but it was a small family farm because it was uh, almost, it was close enough to the city to be small. We had about seven acres and my first pet was a goat. Her name was Stormy and um, she taught me a lot about life and a lot about what it means to be alive and to care for uh, another animal or human being. Um, as she passed away, she went uh, blind and deaf, and so it was my job every day to walk her to get water and to also make sure that she was fed. So um, here's a picture of me watch it, walking my first goat. Um, since then, I have had two wiener dogs. Um, I've had them at separate times. First, I had a boy chocolate wiener dog named Frankie, uh, mostly through college, and then um, he got older and passed away. And uh, I had to get a, another chocolate wiener dog, but this time I have a girl and her name is Coco. The best part about playing bassoon for me is that uh, I get to uh, get quiet. I feel like it changes my own personal vibration, my mood. It makes me feel uh, more grounded. I think the hardest part for me about playing bassoon is that it means I don't get to wear lipstick every day because of course the reeds, um, but also uh, playing professionally that I don't get to wear perfume all the time is really hard. I am such a girly girl and I, I miss wearing perfume and lipstick every day. So that is the hardest part of um, playing bassoon. I will say that because I love lipstick so much and I sometimes will forget later in the day what my obligations are, I do carry makeup remover wipes in my case so that uh, I don't get lipstick on a reed and I'm always safe. I do have three bassoons. Um, the first of these is what I like to refer to as the Circus Freak Lamp Bassoon, simply because it has um, basically like no keys on it, like a Baroque bassoon. Um, it doesn't have the full key mechanism on it and it is plastic. I had a parent bring it to me and say, I want my child to learn how to play bassoon and I convinced them to sell me the bassoon so that uh, they could actually purchase an instrument that had a full key mechanism on it. I have a Puchner, which I use for a lot of my outdoor concerts and is a backup instrument. And then I have my Heckle bassoon that I just purchased recently. I also have three profiling machines that I use regularly. I have a Rieger profiler, an old Popkin profiler that I like to uh, change the settings up on a lot, and I have an MD. I have a lot of food allergies. Um, it is really challenging for me to um, eat, especially if I'm going to eat out, but it's totally okay because I love to cook. I think that cooking is one of the most relaxing activities for me. Uh, the chopping, the aromatherapy, I just I feel like more myself when I can cook. Um, if I'm having a bad day, if I can make a big bowl of lentils, I find that the world just becomes a happier place. I think it's also because um, at one point I had a little bit of a problem with anemia and lentils are such a good form of iron that it's like I get the aromatherapy, I get the chopping, I get that quietness in my mind that happens, but also um, I'm getting that iron out of the food. Because I have the food allergies, um, if I go out, I usually eat sushi, and I'm not adventurous when I go out. I am pretty standard. You can guarantee that I'm going to order um, sashimi, and it's going to almost always be squid and yellowtail with a side of steamed rice. Because the sushi rice has vinegar in it, and I'm allergic to vinegar. 
I love vintage fashion. I collect uh, vintage Vera scarves, um, the Vera Newman. Um, these are earlier from the century um, in an era when it wasn't as appropriate for a woman to have a professional painting career. Um, she painted, but then they are artwork that was turned into linens, scarves, fashion. Um, I love them and so I do collect those. I also collect vintage furs, uh, furs that have been relatively abandoned or not well taken care of. Um, uh, I can tell you how to refurbish a fur very quickly because I just feel like I'm saving all the little animals. I do have tattoos and I don't care what they look like when I'm older. Uh, my tattoos are a story about me and my journey and my path. So they're very personal to me. I don't care what the future holds for me. I'm trying to set myself up for success in my daily living. And what my body is gonna look like at that age is going to be what it's going to be. And it's going to be a representation of my life and how I've lived. So the tattoos will be part of that journey. In my free time, I like to quilt. But the only type of quilting that I like to do is English paper piecing, uh, which is where you have the fabric and you first sew it into a piece of paper and then you sew all of the little pieces together. I also like to garden and grow flowers. Uh, growing things makes me feel powerful. Um, and when I'm having a really bad day, pulling weeds feels fulfilling. I'm not sure why that is, but if I'm having a rough time, Going and pulling some weeds is a very effective feel-good moment for me. On bad days, if uh, it is the middle of winter, I have to admit that I have a weakness for Sephora and that Sephora can seem to turn around any bad day. Um, again, that weakness for lipstick will always come through and if I'm having a bad time, brand new lipstick, new perfume, problem solved. I probably have about 10 to 15 of these almost same color of blue nail polish. Um, when I am getting ready to perform uh, for big concerts, you can tell if I've been preparing because I have been studying scores and in order to get myself to sit still and listen to the piece and study the score, counting through things, I usually have my nails done. Um, and I do them at home on my own. My favorite is the L'Oreal Jet Set to Paris. Um, it isn't the most long wearing, but it is the best color of blue that I have found. Um, and like I said, I probably bought the same color 10 to 15 times in different, slightly different shades, but I'm telling you, they're all different. They just look the same. I don't like being late, especially to movies. I love the previews, and if somebody is going to uh, tell me we're going to the movies and they're going to make me miss the previews, I will throw a little bit of a fit. There will be a small temper tantrum. I am a secret Trekkie. I think that um, Deep Space Nine actually got me through some of those sleepless nights in college. Um, college was very stressful for me. Um, Indiana University is an extremely rigorous school to go to. And, ooh, there, there was an extra fact. That's where I did several degrees. And um, there was so much happening that at times I got very anxiety and I couldn't sleep at night. Um, but I would watch some Deep Space Nine and it would knock me out every single time. It just, it was so relaxing. And I blame this on the fact that as a child, we did not have cable TV. And I would sit down and watch some just regular Star Trek. And then it just became a thing where it was like I had to watch all of the different versions. It was all of them. Okay guys, I think we got as close as possible to 50 facts about me. There'll be a number here that will tell you how close we got. Um, if you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me um, and about my channel, what I do, uh, be sure to give this a thumbs up. If you want to keep up with me, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, I think that's it. And that's all you get. And that's it. And that's all you get. No more.